Ooh, welcome to the spookiest episode of Let's Build Minecraft ever. <laughs> welcome, guys, to the Halloween special of Let's Build Minecraft. So spooky, in fact, that we have floating trees. Yes, floating trees. Not sure what's up with that, Mojang. But I appreciate the uh, opportunity to use these to my theme, I guess. Today, we're going to be building a little one-off special thing. I've cleared out some space for it. And from the title and from the thumbnail, you can probably tell what it already is. It is... <sighs> I don't have anything on me to show you. Uh, here are all the materials I'm going to need, mostly. And I have a bed over here. It is going to be a pumpkin house, and really cool pumpkin house. Just putting that out there. So, I'm going to grab a bunch of pumpkins. Right away, we're going to get started. I'm actually going to want a little bit more dirt than that, I think. And it is getting dark already. So let's just grab some of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can go to sleep. And we're going to be building our pumpkin house right around here. And I'll show you guys how to build it. I'm going to make it so that all of the pumpkin faces are facing the inside of the building. And I am going to make a, a very rough... I'm going to take down this tree. I am making a very rough circle. I don't want it to be perfect. And you'll see in a little bit why. What I'm going for is very organic and not at all. Can I get this? Yeah, very slowly. My good axe is almost broken, so I am using this one for now. <laughs> um, pumpkins are very odd shapes, right? They're like a squished ball, and sometimes not even, not even that simple. So that's kind of what we're going for. We're going to make a shape very roughly rounded, and we're also going to make it somewhat flattened out. And I'm actually probably going to want to pull back this hill here a little bit. We can maybe landscape around here. We can leave this wall sheer. And I think we can use that to our advantage. We're not building just a tree. I think we're going to also add somewhat of a cemetery to it. But anyways, now you can't, uh, you can't add her. Huh, let me think. I don't think you can add a pumpkin in the air. Yeah, like that without placing something underneath it. So I'm going to put some dirt around and not all of these spots are going to be, uh, it's not going to come out one at every spot. We might have to come back and look at this and see whether or not we like it after the fact that these have been placed. So let me do this layer. All right, I've got that layer placed, so I'm going to take out the dirt. You can't place the pumpkins without something underneath it, but you can certainly remove whatever is underneath it. So you can see here, some of these spots right here are going to be uh, not sticking out. Some of them will be sticking out. Let's, oh, let's not do that. Let's pull this up a little bit just for the sake of it not looking so horribly. I don't really care that there's a leaf under there. No one can no one can see that. And <laughs> no one's ever gonna see that. You guys know though, so I guess everybody saw it. Uh so let's go to the front and take a look. See, this is the shape that we've got. It's it's pretty ugly, right? As uh this is a pretty awful interior too. Well, that's all going to change. So I'm going to make this second layer, third layer maybe. I'll get back to you when I've got some more progress. Third layer is now placed. I'm going to put this acacia door right, right there because I had it in my ender chest. I remembered that I didn't have it on me. So I went and got it. Ooh, a jungle sapling. I need those because I'm planting lots of jungle trees lately. So the next, the fourth layer is going to be brought in. Uh, this whole thing in all... What am I doing? I'm, I'm trying to play while looking at a, a reference picture that I have. This whole thing is going to be about five blocks tall plus a stem. So let's bring in the next layer. We're going to need some dirt. And it's going to be done like this. Not perfectly... Again, it's not all coming in one block at a time. Maybe we'll do something like this... And we can get rid of that dirt. Let's take a look at that from out here. See, that looks fine. That is clearly pretty rounded and flattened out like pumpkins do. It's kind of like a flattened basketball. A basketball that doesn't have enough air, right? 
that's kind of what I'm picturing when I build this. So I'm gonna finish up this layer. The next layer is all gonna come in one block because this is where it gets uh, dramatically flatter. It's changing slope really fast at this point. Uh, I filled in some wood here. This is just so we can place pumpkins. So I'm actually gonna put in some jack lanterns in around here just to get some light sources and that should be fine like that. And the faces are all going to be hidden, so no one will ever be able to tell. So I'm just going to fill these in, and that will be the general shape of our house. That isn't going to be the end of it, though. So as you can see, we removed the dirt here, and it is well lit in here. The next part for me is arguably the part where we take this from a butt-ugly build. That's pretty ugly, right? Pretty awful. Two... Uh, what I, I actually really like the end product. I started building this in a creative world and I thought, how the heck are we gonna make this look good? And my answer is yellow and orange clay. Look at that color palette. I think that you'll find that you, those mix very well together. The yellows with these shades on the pumpkins match very well. And at the same time, the oranges match very well with the darker shade. So all I'm gonna do now is take out random pieces. Just like this, I'm just gonna do the front side so that you can see the back sides I'll do on my own. So let's take some of these out, really not paying too much attention to which ones I'm really taking out, just making sure that I'm not making any too, too much of a like clearly predictable pattern. So now we've got a Swiss cheese pumpkin house. I'm gonna take some yellow and throw it in wherever we had it. Where did we have it? Do we have right there? Let's get up here. I think we had one right here. Let's put our orange there, another orange there. It's okay if we have some right next to each other. Uh, an orange there, yellow, orange. Maybe not the exact same pattern that I had, but we can take a step back and look at it, see if we like it. I think we shouldn't have a problem with it. I don't like that, for example, so I'm gonna remove that. And I'm gonna put another orange underneath it. And this one I'm gonna make yellow. So from the inside, you can see very random, very random order. And we're actually not gonna be able to see any of that from the inside once we're done. I don't like that either. So let's let's hop up here, cause, cause it's just two of them right there just uh my it kind of catches my eye and i don't like that it does that so let's grab this and perhaps just just move it on back over here we missed a spot anyway and that looks like that should be good i've filled in from the interior let's take a look from the outside it's really hard to tell if you like the shape from the inside now i see that i missed a spot right here that could definitely be something let's make it orange let's put a yellow right here all in all it's about half pumpkin and half clay i would say would you say that's pretty fair um i would say that i could use one there probably a yellow i can definitely use one here and another yellow there why not and i even have some on the top now the next step. This is a house and therefore we do need windows. I've got black because black and orange are kind of the Halloween colors, right? So let's take a look. I want one right here, I think. I'm gonna make this one a full block just because a pane obviously won't work there. Uh, I could also probably fit one right there, but I'm gonna put one right, I think I'll put one right here and I'm just gonna do one of those deals. And then we could do some on the back. We could definitely put a pane here, but there's probably leaves on the other side. Uh, actually, there's not, so that's a pretty good spot. And I'm going to put something down on the ground. Ooh, I did have one. There. And grab some of those panes. There's another window, and I left one open here. So let's grab... Do I have anything? Nope. Let me grab an orange clay or something from here. Yeah and go back and there now it's going to connect oh, we have a our beautiful view oh i did leave a spot open ah whatever oh i, I have plenty of pumpkins here uh 
Will let me place it on top of that? It won't, of course. Let me do that. So uh, it has to be a full block for it to work. Uh, and we get this beautiful view outside into the jungle. Very nice. Next thing that I'm going to do is capitalize on the use of this acacia color. Uh, it, it's really a good intermedium between this yellow and this orange. That's not where I'm going to place it, by the way. I am going to place them just really, I'm not going to replace blocks with them, but I am going to put it alongside the house like such, just like this. I think I might put one there. The slabs are going to be really useful in spots up here, just like that. And you can use them right there and still see the top half of that. Let's put one there. The backside isn't as important, but I am doing it just because it would feel a little bit incomplete otherwise. So that's how we're going to use these slabs. Let's see if we can find any more places to use the stairs. Just think of these as altering the angles of the pumpkin instead of being so slanted here that it's... Uh, you get the idea. It's, it's like a it's like half a block slant there, and then a thick uh, uh, a flat drop off kind of. It just kind of affects the angles that we're working. With. Just, you know what I mean? I mean, don't even. So <laughs> we're gonna uh, make this a little bit more homely now. It, it looks kind of like a big pumpkin, but this is a pumpkin house. So so let's actually. Uh, put one of these deals here. I don't know what you call these. Gable? Is it considered a gable if it's just going... Oh, this... Uh, I, I wanted to not have the uh, the mob sounds off because, because I don't want a creeper blowing us up, but I am sleeping, and there might be a, a zombie spotter somewhere nearby because I've been hearing him the whole time. So let's put another one right there. In fact, let's change one of these to a stair right there. Makes it look a little bit more chaotic. Let's put that there. We can even put one of these on the top sides right there. And ooh, that looks like a house now, doesn't it? But a pumpkin isn't a pumpkin without a pumpkin stem. Let us make our way up there. I have some leaves that I just gathered of assorted leafiness. And let's just make a trail on up here while we're at it, since it's going to happen anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not very, not thinking about it too much. We're going to use some lime clay here. And, ooh, I need some green clay as well. Give me one moment. I am telling all of you right now that the shulker boxes are a builder's best friend. Probably the best thing that's been added to the game for the sake of us. Otherwise, I would have had to go all the way back to my, my storage right there and gotten everything all over again. Uh, let's grab some dirt. I would have had to made multiple trips by now, actually. Let's grab more dirt. I'm just kind of making a twisting, twisting sort of pattern here. Not thinking about it too much. Let's, let's get on up here. I kind of want it to actually look like it's twisting, so, oops, I don't really want that there. Oh, that's gone. Let's put one of these. And how much how much can we get away with before it starts to look weird? We could probably make this as long as we want, but I'm not gonna. It's gotta end. It's gotta end sometime. Let's get our shovel and stand back. I have a feeling that it'll probably look fine. We might have to make an adjustment, but the general shape is probably fine. From down here is where we're going to be seeing it most of the time, so I actually think that that is too big. I actually did go too far with it. So let's take off that top one. Just climb up here. The slabs do make it a little bit more difficult to get up in some places. Uh, this is the one that I want. Can I get it back? I guess not. I don't know where it went. And now let's take a look at it. Ooh, you can go back now. And that seems to be fine. Ooh, you know what? Change up the directions. These things twist and turn and, 
and all kinds of fun things like that. So let's actually have it come back down. Like, like it can't hold itself up or something, not completely at least. And we'll take a look and see now. I like that, especially from over here. Maybe it could be better. Uh, I think it's fine though. Let's work on this a little bit though. I don't like how these, these this leaf trail. Do pumpkins actually have leaf trails? Or rather leaves that, that hang down like this? I think they do. And to top it off, we'll kind of give it a... Uh, a little bit more rounded of a feeling by adding some half slabs up here like so and when we come down you can't see it at all so it didn't make any difference <laughs> so that is for the most part how you make a pumpkin house but we're not done there no we are actually taking it a a step further i don't need all this stuff as you can see the interior is a bit of a concern in fact it is pretty dang ugly <laughs> So we're going to at least dress it up a little bit and you could probably fill it up with whatever you want it. But, but this, however, should at least make it look bearable. And, and if you want to use this for something, then, and you can definitely decorate it. Once we do what I'm about to do, we're going to give it walls inside the walls. So it's a good thing if you make this big enough because it's not going to work. If you, if I made this one block in, then and this probably won't end up very good, but I'm just going to put in these acacia, acacia, right? Yeah, acacia logs all around. And it's okay if we see some pumpkin, but I'm going to start with the walls that are indented the most, such as here. And then I'm going to take it a step further to the ones after that, such as that, I'm going to leave the window open for function's sake. I'll leave. That's not right. All right, so it's a pretty haphazard interior. If you wanted, you could probably fill that in, have a flatter wall. Maybe that looks better to you. Uh, maybe you could fill in that and have a window just there. Um, it's it's all right. It's lit. That's what that's what counts. Ha <laughs> ha. But the the actual pumpkin house itself is for the most part done. I'm actually going to remove this right here and let's grab it and we'll just throw this to the side cuz I I noticed that we're, we're going to be coming up. Ah oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> we're going to be coming up from this direction if we ever come up to it. This is where that path is going to go. That thing was blocking that door a little bit. So let's make the pathway. I'm going to start with path blocks, which change color by the biome, I believe. That's a nice color. That's darker than the biomes that I'm used to. And the dark color looks really nice, actually. Let's just cut this out a little bit. We're going to mix in some soul stone and some brown clay. That's going to break that, but that's okay. I need to clean out my inventory. That is what I need to do. I lost my acacia door, so <laughs> I made another one. Let's actually, let's put it in a little bit more. It was on that block. Let's put it in. So these are the blocks I'm using. Path blocks, brown clay, and uh, soul sand, or yeah, soul sand. And it's all right. I think that these are pretty spooky colors, if I do say so myself. And let's just take this down here a little bit I'm not too worried about the pathway we're not we're not making it go anywhere so that's our pathway now what i want to do is make this not look so awful i brought some stone and we're gonna make a mini cemetery Ooh, before that i have something in my inventory that i thought might look a little funny on the inside of this house we are gonna put a friendly ghost we'll put him right here and here is his his sheet his right like you know what I'm talking about the sheets that that people wear as as um, ghost costumes. I should probably figure out a banner design to make him have eyes. That would probably be cool to have. But I'm pretty awful with banners. In fact, I've never messed around with them at all. But that's a ghost, and he lives inside of this, and he manages this cemetery right here so let's grab some some stone of all sorts of kinds we've got we've got smooth stone 
and we definitely want some walls. I'm just gonna just throw lots of stuff in here. I'm gonna have to organize all this all over again. And let's make a wall to start with. Very random placement. I'm not paying too much attention at all. Just like this. Let's put that there. I try not to have the pattern or have any noticeable patterns. So that should be fine. So there's a wall for us. Let's take this wall a step further and add actual walls. And we'll add them at intervals. Ah, we'll just add them every other one and let's take you down. Don't want you here. Um, that's going to add a little bit of a, of a weird situation there. That's fine. And do I have some half slabs? I have I have lots of kinds of half slabs. What kind do we want? Let's actually mix and match them. Let's do some of these. And then the rest will do plain brick. Do we have room? Right there, yes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's, that's fine though. That can stay there, I guess. Uh, yeah, right there, right there. So there's a wall and then... How do you make a grave? This part I'm kind of just going off the cuff with. What happened to all my soul sand? The soul sand's going to look like it's maybe a freshly dug grave. Let's put one there and there, and one here and here. And spooky things are about. Let's put one over here. There's graves all over. Not very good. Let's grab our walls. Do we use all of our walls or do we put them back? We put them back. And just very simple, very simple headstones. We'll even do um, one like that. And maybe this guy, he gets an extra tall one. So yeah, everybody, this is my pumpkin house for Halloween. I hope you guys liked it. Here's just a bit of a fly around so we can see it better. It is in the jungle. So it is pretty hard to see. In fact, let me take you over to the creative world where I built the first design and I'll show you what the whole thing looks like without all these trees in the way. This is the original design. I see that I did do, what color is this? Light gray hardened clay. That would be another clay color to mix into your pathway that would look pretty good. I didn't have any on me, however. This stem I like a little bit more. It's kind of like a question mark shape show you how I did it. And I actually built up the stem. Ooh, that was, that was so good of me. It was a great idea of me. <laughs> um, looks like I didn't even do the back with the detailing, but I did do the front. And you can see very similar style, very, very similar. Really, it's so chaotic that if I showed you one and then the other, you probably wouldn't even notice that there was a difference. But yeah, the interior of this one maybe even turned out a little bit better. I used stairs and whatnot here. Um, Still some pumpkins sneaking through here and there and on the roof and whatnot or on the ceiling and whatnot. But anyways, guys, that is the Halloween special for Let's Build. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.